to live with all the facilities that are available here. Uh, it's our privilege and this has been done once and now it's being redone in the 21st century. It's just marvelous what's going on. What a surprise it was that my husband gave me a stage for Valentine's Day. It's been my tough problem to find a gift for Judy that I thought she deserved. And this opportunity came up, and I must say I'm very thankful to Martin and Janice for heading this whole program to the city and county of Denver, to the board of directors, the DCPA, for seeing the insight that this is what really fits Denver at this time. Of course, we do have a stage right behind me. This is in our home. But the stage that he gave me was from his heart. I think I could say for my part, he knew me so well that he knew that I love the theater, I always have. And the idea that there will be people far beyond us after we're gone that will enjoy it, that will have entertainment, and above all, learning. When we bring the really little ones there, and they're sitting there and they're watching what's going on. I think we give them a gift that will last forever. And we're creating theater goers for life. Charity or giving, I think, has to be part of all of our lives, whether it's large or small or whatever. I can't imagine not giving. I'm sorry that Donald Sewell isn't with us to see what's going on. This is a really amazing endeavor for so many people to be involved in this, and even more people that will enjoy it. It will be entertainment, it will be a learning experience, and who doesn't want to be a part of that? We feel blessed to be able to do that. We're about show business, and you know, how the song goes. There's no business like show business, like no business I know. Everything about it is appealing, everything the traffic will allow. Nowhere do you get that extra feeling like when you're stealing that extra bow.